Hey, what's up internet? So today we want to look at how to set a URL for say your remote or remote repository on something like GitHub for a Git repository. So here on screen, we have an example where this is a repository or library called Axios, which is really convenient for using your HTTP client in Node and your browser. It's an alternative to the Fetch API. So to show that there is no magic here, let's just go ahead and let's clone this library or this repository rather using SSH. So I'm going to scroll over to my terminal and I'm going to do git clone, put that in and it's going to bring down the library. Once it's downloaded to my local machine, I'm going to change into the Axios repository and you can see it here. So if you wanted to see what your current origin and whatnot, you can go git remote dash V and this will show you any thing you have upstream or downstream or whatever. So here we have the origin and you can see for both fetching and pushing, it's this URL here. Now, what I want to do is to say, um, change it. Maybe this is a take home, maybe this is something else, and I want to really maintain control. So the way that you can do that is you can go into the GitHub docs and it says right here. So we can go and we can copy and paste this or we could type it in manually, either way. But we're gonna go git remote set URL, and then you want to say what URL you want to set. So in this case, let's do another example. And we could say uh, git at GitHub. And we could say this would be like the name of a repository that we've already created in GitHub. So it could be like GitHub. This would be my username. So let's say my username. And this would be like sample rep repository and they're going to say that there's no uh, remote that you have set up but so if you wanted to go here you can go and you would change this to origin right so or origin and now if you go and you do get remote v you can see that it has changed it from what it was previously to axios forward slash axios git to the username and sample repository. If you want to get remote add, you can add um, another thing here, but we just wanted to go over how to change a remote repository URL. And if you wanted to, I'll add these docs in the video notes. So if you have any questions or ideas for this video or future videos, go ahead and add them in the comment section. Otherwise, have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.